working capital management terminology i will be discussing today i will be most probably i will be try my level best to complete all these six concepts second is inventory management how to manage inventory what is inventory what is eoq what is reorder level what is safety stock then cash management we will be doing one miller or a model then marketable securities management and then accounts receivable management and last we will be doing with operating cycle very very important for the examination and and for 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 cma usc examination it is very important cash operating cycle to jaldi se aap pehle ye 6 ke 6 concept ek baar mere kehne pe you know you have to write it down so that you can be you know friendly with these concepts so i can start with the working capital terminology when i say working capital I, as i have already told you in my detailed lectures conceptual lectures when i say working capital any capital which is necessary for working of the business in the last lecture i have given the example of tea stall i have given the example of haldiram bujiawala there are six concepts aap at least sabhi students in concepts ke number to likhe ek revision ho jayegi yaar table chair mein baith ke padhna hai concept one is working capital terminology very important for examination cma usc examination inventory management cash management just to see management 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 and the name of part 2 is strategic financial management it means aapko manage hi manage karte rehna bar bar you know so first concept working capital terminology mein start kar raha hu i am going to start with that so in the last lecture i have not started i have not told you anything about working capital but i have just i have given the example that what i mean by basically working capital when whenever you are going in the morning you know from from your home to office or from home to college or or anywhere you always check your pockets aap apni pockets ko check karte hain ki because you want to have that you have you should have adequate funds of working capital apollo tires अभी मैं आपको एक वीडियो दिखाऊंगा किंग फिशर एयरलाइन का द मेन प्रॉब्लम इन किंग फिशर एयरलाइन वॉज कि दे डोंट हैव द वर्किंग कैपिटल दे डोंट हैव द कैपिटल टू पे द सैलरीज टू देर स्टाफ अभी आई विल बी शोइंग विद इन टू थ्री मिनट्स विजय माल्या भाग गया बिकॉज वर्किंग कैपिटल इज नॉट बींग मैनेज इट इज अ टेक्निकल इंसॉलवेंसी आपके सीएमए सपोर्ट पैकेज में दे हैव गिवन अ वर्ड टेक्निकल इंसॉल्वेंसी विल बी डूइंग टुडे सो वर्किंग कैपिटल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू यू वर्किंग कैपिटल मींस एनी कैपिटल एज अ नेम इंडिकेट्स व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द वर्किंग कैपिटल ओके नाउ वर्किंग कैपिटल कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स आई विल से वर्किंग कैपिटल इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज ग्रॉस वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड सेकंड इज नेट वर्किंग कैपिटल I repeat my golden words. Please write down at least ये जो मैं लिख रहा हूँ वो तो लिखे क्योंकि आपको juice notes हो जब मिलेंगे आप hard copy निकलाएंगे ठीक है it is okay तब तक तो next week आ जाएगा. Working capital is of two types: gross working capital and net working capital. जैसे gross assets and net assets. Net assets means gross minus depreciation is equal to net assets. Similarly. If I deduct something from something, you know, the balancing figure is net. Similar is the case with net working capital. So working capital is total of current assets minus total of current liabilities. This is named as net working capital. And when I just see the total of current assets, I just see the total of current assets. It is gross working capital. So what I have written, the term working capital refers to the firm's investment in this, this, this. Net working capital is is something which is the difference between just have a look on this it is a difference between current assets and current liabilities now what is the meaning of current assets can you tell me any one of you current assets or non current assets mein kya major difference hai same asset can be a current asset for a company you know but same it can be treated as a non current asset for another company so there is a major difference between current assets and non current assets या या बोलिए बोलिए प्लीज बोलिए करंट एसेट्स आर यूज्ड इन अ रूटीन बेसिस ओके ओके 
and non current uh, non current assets are those assets which are uh, used for more than one year it means those assets which can be easily converted into cash within 360 days or 12 months or as madam said in one year jo assets which assets which change their form because in a business everything is changing you are doing transactions everything is changing its form so if anything is changing its form that is from cash to debtors or cash to non current non current to cash changing its form or which can be converted into cash within 12 months are current lab assets and those liabilities those payments which you have to pay within 12 months are named as current liabilities very important for your examination theek hai sir aage chal rahe hain next is the the point is permanent working capital and temporary working capital as per becker as per hawk there are two types of working capitals one is permanent working capital second is temporary working capital i think 12th of august ko raksha bandhan hai in india you know we celebrate a, a festival named as raksha bandhan haldi ram bujia wala and bikaner unka bhi season aa raha hai because they they generally they will produce sweets who generally mithaiyan banayenge acha around raksha bandhan they will have more investment in the mithaiyan you know they will purchase more raw material they will purchase more milk products they will purchase more dry fruits because they want to manufacture more on 12th specifically on 12th august it means that working capital which is required for a particular period only that is temporary working capital and the working capital which is required from january to december for full 12 months it is permanent working capital i think aapko samajh aa raha difference when i want to say that this is this is permanent and when i say when i say that, that this this is this is temporary temporary will change jaise aapka blood pressure normal same rehna chahiye kai bar high ho jata hai kai bar low bhi ho jata hai but 90% cases mein your blood pressure remains same so that is a permanent blood pressure and when it varies like anything that is a temporary blood pressure similarly working capital is of two types now this is again the most important point jo mai bhi batane wala hu aapko supposingly aap you you require funds let it be you require 1 lakh rupees as working capital aapko 1 lakh rupees chahiye you want to go to out of session aapne cma usa examination diya acha bhi ho gaya asset type window open ho gayi aap pass bhi ho gaye you want to give a treat to yourself and you want to visit you know to a hill station and supposingly I, along with your friends you are going mai assume kar raha hu ki aapko 1 lakh rupaye ki requirement hai in in this this total outstation tour but aap 1 lakh 50000 rupees leke chal rahe ho or you are taking 80000 rupees along with you i repeat my question your requirement is 1 lakh rupaye hone chahiye normal but aap agar 1 lakh se zyada leke chal rahe ho or if you are taking less than 1 lakh So it means either you know ya to aap aggressive or conservative mein se do policies adopt kar rahe ho if you are going for 1 lakh 50000 it means you are not ready to take risk aap 1 lakh 50000 ka working capital apne paas leke chal rahe ho but the normal requirement is 1 lakh it means you are not ready to bear the risk it means you are a conservative you are a conservative management philosophy but in case आप 80,000 से काम कर रहे हो इट मीन यू आर रेडी टू टेक द रिस्क क्योंकि नॉर्मल रिक्वायरमेंट वन लाख है बट आप 80,000 से वर्क कर रहे हो लेस देन दैट आपको लगता है ठीक है कहीं से पैसे आ जाएंगे जुगाड़ कर लेंगे हो जाएगा इट मीन यू आर रेडी टू टेक रिस्क इट मीन यू आर एग्रेसिव गॉट इट तो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिसी यू नो वन इज कंजर्वेटिव एंड सेकेंड इज एग्रेसिव तो कंजर्वेटिव क्या है एग्रेसिव क्या है ये बताया मैंने Now the point is, which is again very important. अभी इसके ऊपर हम क्वेश्चंस करने वाले हैं. Components of working capital. Components. जैसे पाव भाजी खाते हैं, तो there are some components of पाव भाजी. छोले भटूरे. There are components of छोले भटूरे. 
आप डोमिनोज पिज्जा खाते हैं देर इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ डोमिनोज पिज्जा सिमिलरली वन इज कैश एंड कैश इक्वल मार्केटेबल करेंट मार्केटेबल सिक्योरिटीज बिकॉज इट कैन बी इजली कन्वर्टेड इन टू कैश अकाउंट रिसीवेबल दिस इज अकाउंट रिसीवेबल दैट इज डेटर्स नेक्स्ट इज इन्वेंटरी इन्वेंटरी प्लीज राइट डाउन एटलीस्ट दीज फोर पॉइंट आपको लिखना है मेरे दोस्त खाली बैठेंगे आपको लगेगा आपने ऑलरेडी किया हुआ फिर भी स्टिल अगेन यू हैव टू राइट इट डाउन मैं खड़ा होकर पढ़ा रहा हूं यार आई एम टीचिंग यू स्टैंडिंग यू नो आई कैन सिट ऑल्सो सो प्लीज राइट इट डाउन कैश एंड कैश इक्वल मार्केटेबल सिक्योरिटीज अकाउंट रिसेबल्स एंड इन्वेंट्री दीज आर करेंट एसेट्स आई नो दैट यू नो I know you know, but I know that you don't know so many other things also. So th for that you have to write it down. आप लिखे current liabilities लिखे यहां पर लिखे current liabilities miss हो गया current liabilities. Please write down current liabilities में लिखे please accounts payable, accounts payable, accruals, accruals, outstanding expenses. All these are. you know all these are current liabilities so if i deduct current assets and if i deduct current liabilities from current assets the net result will be net working capital which i will be going to calculate as per the examination main abhi aapke samne us exam ab in the cma examination i will be doing some questions in front of you in which you will be calculating net working capital and for that you should be aware of ki current assets kaun se hain current liabilities kaun si hain non current assets kaun se hain what are non current liabilities so that you can directly easily calculate it next concept which i am going to start is operating cycle abhi thodi der mein aaunga because usse pehle aapko you should be aware of inventory management chaliye ek question karte hain pehle to let me do one question mein dekhta hu aapko abhi tak kitna samajh aa gaya ठीक है जी आइए मैं अपने जूस नोट्स में हूं एंड दीज क्वेश्चन आई हैव गैदर्ड फ्रॉम यू नो वी आर वी आर वी आर ऑफिशियल पार्टनर्स ऑफ हॉक आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट मैं भी आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट नोट्स आल्सो वो भी मेरे को आई थिंक दूसरी फाइल में है सो अभी आफ्टर टेन मिनट विल बी डूइंग विद दैट क्वेश्चन अगेन फॉर द वर्किंग कैपिटल लेट मी फॉर द टाइम बींग आई विल स्टार्ट विद दैट मैं नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट में आ रहा हूँ आई मैंने अभी तक आई हैव डिस्कस विद कंसेप्ट नंबर वन and the name of that concept is working capital terminology can any one of you tell me the bullet points which i have discussed in concept number 1 working capital management terminology mein maine kya kya baatein batayi bas ek bullet point bata sakte hain any one of you please ki maine abhi tak kya kya discuss kiya work concept number 1 mein any one of you please can you share I have discussed working capital. I have discussed gross working capital. I have discussed net working capital. I have discussed approaches in order to calculate that working capital. Then I have discussed the components of working capital, and then I have discussed current assets, current liabilities. Now I am on to concept number two, that is inventory management. Say yes or no. Yes or no. To bol dije. नंबर टू फॉर सीएमए यूएसए टू पार्ट टू एग्जामिनेशन इन्वेंटरी मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट इफ आई वांट टू मैनेज दिस वर्किंग कैपिटल आई हैव टू मैनेज करेंट एसेट्स एंड आई हैव टू मैनेज करेंट एबिलिटीज देन ओनली आई कैन मैनेज दिस वर्किंग कैपिटल तो आई एम टेकिंग फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट फ्रॉम दिस उसका नाम है इन्वेंटरी नाउ द पॉइंट इज इन्वेंटरी वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इन्वेंटरी Whether raw material is my inventory, whether work in progress is my inventory, whether finished goods is also is my is my inventory. What I what are the components of inventory? Inventory है क्या? And why I want to manage that? आप when you go for a vegetable vegetable market to buy vegetables, तो क्या आप पूरी vegetable market buy करके लेके आ जाते हो? या as per the requirement you buy it? It depends upon you know the requirement. इट इज नॉट कि आप सब कुछ परचेज करके लेके आओगे बिकॉज देर इज नो स्पेस अदरवाइज देर ह्यूज वेस्टेज ऑफ द इन्वेंटरी सो एज पर सी एम ए यूएसए पार्ट टू एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो 
as per becker as per glem as per wiley as per this it is important that as a management accountant you should know how much it is to be purchased what is to be purchased and when it is to be purchased so you have to answer three questions kya kharidna hai kitna kharidna hai kab kharidna hai so my dear friends today i am going to start with second concept inventory management refers to the process it is a process of determining it is a process of determining and maintaining the required level the process of and re required level to ensure that my inventory cost is being minimized as a management accountant i want to minimize my inventory cost how much to purchase economic order quantity we will be calculating william j baumel ki hame kitna kharidna hai uske liye main abhi aapko ek formula karaunga jo main kehta hu jiska naam hai e o q i have given in detail in my conceptual lectures uska playlist bhi aaj hum iske sath attach kar denge because humne kuch youtube mein videos upload kiye hain so you can watch those videos also along with these revisionary live videos so that you can have a better version of inventory management so these are the three questions which i will be answering what is to be purchased how is to be purchased and when it is to be purchased because in inventory there are the costs which are being involved and because there are some costs you know like i will be incurring purchase cost i will be incurring ordering cost i will be incurring holding cost all are the costs which i have to incur my company as a management accountant my company is incurring this type of cost so i should see that what should be you know how i can minimize this cost kya karu ki this cost can be minimized the main work of management accountant to minimize that cost to take the effective decisions so i should know what is the nature of purchase cost what is the nature of ordering cost what is the nature of holding cost when i say holding cost it also means carrying cost isko hum carrying cost bhi kehte hain so what i mean by carrying cost what i mean by holding cost abhi dekh rahe hain all that i have written aap ye bataiye ki when you buy something you invest your funds in that aap apne paise usme invest kar rahe hain your cash is being invested there otherwise you would have invested that much at least in a bank and you could have earned some rate of interest on that aaj aap cm mein usa kar rahe hain now you are not doing any job assumingly aap job nahi kar rahe you know agar aap job karte to you could have earned some salary from that which you are losing now so that is carrying cost of cm mein usa part 2 examination instead of anything is not coming rather you are paying to me rather you are paying for the examination fees you are paying for the registration fees this is a holding cost of cma usa part 2 examination similarly when as a corporate entity as a artificial person you want to buy a inventory for your company dominos pizza they want to buy a pizza base they want to buy capsicums they want to buy paneer how much to buy when to buy from where to buy that all questions will be answered by inventory management because the first type of cost is carrying cost just have a look on this it is associated with holding inventory jab aap koi inventory ko khareed lenge aap jab usko hold karenge to jo hold karne ki jo cost hai That is named as carrying cost, holding cost. जैसे storage, warehouse charges, insurance. You have to pay road insurance sometimes. You know, travel insurance, security, inventory taxes, depreciation. All these are the examples of carrying cost. if you are the but the prominent is opportunity cost 
out of all these this is the main cost which is there that is the interest cost which you are losing because you have already employed your funds in that aapne apne paise usme employ kar diye you have employed there and you could have earned some rate of interest on that but you are losing that it is carrying cost so i think you are getting a point and the next is ordering cost ordering ordering cost ka meaning hai ki jab aap order karenge you know जब आप वेजिटेबल मार्केट जाएंगे तो देर इज यू आर गोइंग विद बैटरी रिक्शा यू आर पेइंग सम कार्टेज टू दैट सिमिलरली फॉर अ कॉर्पोरेट एंटिटी वेन दे आर बाइंग समथिंग यू नो दे हैव टू फर्स्टली इनवाइट द सप्लायर्स दे विल सबमिट द टेंडर्स देन यू विल यू विल चेक दो टेंडर्स देन यू विल सी द क्वालिटी ऑफ दैट मेटीरियल देन ऑल दैट इज ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट इट इज अ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इट इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड विद ऑर्डर्स तो ऑर्डरिंग कॉस्ट दे आर ऑन दिस ऑर्डर फॉर इंटरनली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड दिस 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 स्टॉक आउट कॉस्ट स्टॉक आउट आप किसी शॉप में गए यू नो एंड फॉर यू यू आर समथिंग और उसके पास वो अवेलेबल नहीं है इन दैट केस ही विल लूज योर कस्टमर ही विल यू लूज यू बिकॉज यू विल बी परचेजिंग फ्रॉम सम समर शॉप so that is usko bolte stock out cost so there are three types of cost which i have mentioned here which are very beautifully being drafted in this flow chart the one is the one is the one is the first is carrying cost second is ordering cost and third is stock out cost carrying cost ordering cost and stock out cost now the point is how to calculate how to calculate that how much inventory should be purchased as per cma usc examination there are three models on the basis of which i can i can see that how much quantity should be purchased aaj today i will be discussing with economic order quantity kanban we will see ki kanban kya kehta hai that is more given to me in part 1 and third is <coughs> just in time but first sorry firstly i will be discussing with economic order quantity acha in this economic order quantity mein main kuch assumptions leta hu jaise cricket khelte hain aap to there are some assumptions ki 22 square yard ka pitch hoga bat ka size ball ka size jo three umpires all all that is fixed all is being assumed similarly if you want to find out that how much quantity is to be purchased aapko kuch assumptions lena padega kya kya assumptions lenge demand is uniform carrying cost is constant in practical it can be or it cannot be but because you have to prepare a close model aapko close model banana hai so in this close model you have to calculate economic order quantity so i am assuming that some factors are constant then only i can vary that and i can focus on that that how much quantity should be purchased if all other factors are constant so mai assume karunga demand is uniform again this is testable examination question demand is uniform that has to be assumed it means if i am getting 12000 units of order in a year it means 1000 units every month i am getting it may be possible or it may not be but main ye assume kar raha hu ki har mahine you know every month i am getting 1000 units of order if total 12000 units are being ordered in in a year so this is nothing but i am assuming that units are uniformly purchased or there is a demand uniform carrying cost is same carrying cost is same the same quantities the same quantities ordered purchase cost are unaffected it means even if you are purchasing one unit or 10 units or 100 units purchase cost same lagne wali hai ye bhi hum maan ke chal rahe hain kyunki if i do not assume this i cannot tell you how i can get drive that economic order quantity so all these will be assumed then only i can derive this formula very simple formula in my logical in my conceptual lectures i have given a brief you know 30 minute speech on this formula that how william john baumel has derived this model 
and what is the nature of that so just just have a list uh, in case you know in case you want to uh, see see that we will be attaching that playlist but isko aise humne kiya tha number of orders is equal to a upon q when i say a it means 12000 units annual demand q means number of units ordered in one order into ca plus q plus 0 upon 2 into ch now there is no need to derive derive it just for uh, sake i am just telling you that i have done it like this this will be total variable cost then i will be using the mathematics and then i will be taking the differentiation aur uske baad ye formula aa jayega but only you have to need to learn this formula you know this is a formula as per hock to ad we can use the same change the symbols also ad upon k a means annual consumption d mein uh, d means and uh, annual demand a means cost per order k is holding cost per unit per annum i uh, that i have written here also like this i can you know manage my inventory and for that i will be using some ratios also inventory management ratios first is inventory turnover ratio turnover i will see everything in respect of sales accounts receivables turnover if i compare if i relate accounts receivable with turnover that will be accounts receivable turnover ratio if i relate accounts payable with turnover it will be accounts payable turnover ratio if i relate working capital with turnover it will be working capital turnover ratio but yahan pe hum kar rahe hain inventory turnover ratio i am relating inventory with sales cost of goods sold upon average inventory that is you know let it be let it be six times can you tell me what is the meaning of this six times it means in a full 12 month span 12 mahine ke period mein 12 mahine ke period mein you know che baar humne inventory ko badla it means old inventory has been sold purani chali gayi nahi aa gayi purani chali gayi nahi aa gayi supposingly kisi ke inventory 12 times hai to kya meaning hai iska सिक्स टाइम्स ज्यादा बेटर है या ट्वेल्व टाइम्स ज्यादा बेटर है आंसर दो प्लीज आंसर वेदर इन्वेंटरी टर्न ओवर सिक्स टाइम्स इज मोर बेटर और इन्वेंटरी टर्न ओवर ट्वेल्व टाइम्स इज मोर बेटर सर ट्वेल्व टाइम्स वाई ट्वेल्व आंसर इज राइट बट वाई ट्वेल्व बिकॉज सर इन in a year uh, sir that company or that particular organization is converting or adding up his new customers 12 times then it the... means it means it means their product is in, is in high demand that's yeah, why sir. they are turning it you know it is very much popular in the market it is it is being very much demanded by the customers jaise hi wo product aata hai big jata naya saman aa raha hai purana big gaya naya aa raha hai purana big gaya naya it means unhone 12 times they have converted their stock it is a positive sign it is a positive sign from you know from market point of view if i compare from peers point of view so higher 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 this is again testable in your examination higher inventory turnover ratio better it is कैश मैनेजमेंट सर मैंने दो कंसेप्ट डिस्कस भी कर दिए अभी हम क्वेश्चंस कर रहे हैं मुझे वो शीट मिली नहीं एक्चुअली में तो अभी मैं चेक कर रहा हूं तब तक आई थिंक आई फर्स्टली आई विल गिव यू द कंसेप्ट्स देन मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई कैन डिस्कस दोस क्वेश्चंस मैंने बड़े ब्यूटीफुली ड्राफ्ट किए वो क्वेश्चंस हॉक से ग्लेम से वाइले से बेकर से सो दैट यू कैन गेट अ फील ऑफ ऑल दोस स्टडी मटेरियल्स ठीक है तो आप आ जाइए जी कंसेप्ट नंबर 3 लिखिए कैश मैनेजमेंट कैश मैनेजमेंट we discussed working capital terminology then we discuss maximum areas of inventory management now i am going to start with cash management because if i can manage these small small current assets then i can manage total current assets and if i can manage total current assets i can manage total working capital so i want to manage small 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 components of those working capital so cash management when i say cash management it means why you should you should answer these three questions why you require funds why you require cash what is cash and cash equivalent 
what is soft money what is hard money what is bullion what is paytm balance and why you require it what are the reasons for that and how much you require it like in inventory jaisa inventory mein maine aapko bataya tha teen questions hain cash kitna hai cash kyon chahiye kya how much from where you will get that cash similarly three questions i will be answering in cash management my dear friends aap apne registers mein likhe cash concept number 3 cash management there are three motives there are three motives there are three motives of holding cash transaction precautionary speculative so can any one of you tell me what is the meaning why what is the meaning of transactional motive then precautionary motive and then speculative transaction ka meaning kya samajhte hain sir bataiye so cash needed for yeah yeah please please we go on carry on so cash needed to uh, do the business yes yes yes, yes. please boliye बोलिए सर प्लीज वाई आर वाई यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग प्लीज स्पीक सर कैश नीडेड टू डू सम बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन ओके गुड फॉर बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन एंड वट अबाउट प्रिकॉशनरी मोटिव वट अबाउट द प्रिकॉशनरी वाई यू आर कीपिंग कैश सर टू मीट अनएक्सपेक्टेड लाइक राइट फ्यूचर समथिंग to meet unexpected uncertainties like covid 19 scenario we have seen that uncertainties are there so in our daily life also for a corporate entity also there are so many uncertainties are there in this environment you know abhi china ne uske upar war start kar diya russia ne ukraine ke upar kar diya abhi india ke ladakh mein problem aa rahi hai it means if you see the whole world is changing like anything your thoughts are being changed every time in one day you are getting 60000 thoughts kabhi lagta hai cm usa kar lunga kai kai bar lagta nahi hoga you know how many thoughts there are so much uncertainties similarly a corporate entity apollo tires dalla tires xiaomi phones apple computers all are facing so much uncertainties and you are a management accountant you are going to become a management accountant of these companies so you have to keep some cash for the precautionary motive as madam said very rightly said for uncertainties and the third purpose is speculative motive kai bar aapko lagta hai ki apple computers ka stock new york stock exchange mein gir gaya fatafat buy kar lete hain because you want to take the opportunity you want to encash that opportunity it is speculative motive so there are three motives pehla transaction second precautionary third speculative testable examination area for cma usa part 2 examination the factors which influence how much cash to be held to so, aapko ye hard copy iska next class tak arrange kar lena hai what are the factors for you know for this uh, which will influence this let's have a look on this how much cash will be needed in the future the amount of risk a company the level of this very easy ye to aap dekh sakte hain main aage chal raha hu cash management this is important ye important hai sir that if i want to manage cash i should know what is the meaning of cash flow when i say cash flow i mean what are the sources from my, from where my cash is coming in and what are the ways what are the outflows from where my cash is going out a kahan se raha hai aur ja kahan hai inflows or outflows kahan kahan par hai you know that is named as cash flow management and for that we prepare a cash flow statement as per direct method as per indirect method we prepare a cash budget to so cash flow statement cash management mein this is the most important part which is testable as per cma usa examination कैश इन फ्लो आप ये फ्लो चार्ट बना लो बना लो बेटे कैश फ्लो मैनेजमेंट में इन फ्लो पैसा पैसा करती है ये ले तू पैसा हो जा तू मेरी अभी आउट फ्लो 
ले पैसा माय माय फंड्स आर गोइंग आउट सो व्हाट आर द एरियाज यू नो दैट मैनेजमेंट दिस इज मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट ये आप हैं सीएम में यूएस से नाउ यू हैव टू मैनेज हाउ मच कैश इज कमिंग इन एंड हाउ मच कैश इज गोइंग आउट मैंने अपने कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर्स में इसको डिटेल में एक्सप्लेन किया है and we will attaching that playlist in, in this in this video aaj ke video mein isko attach kar denge theek hai jab isko upload karenge so you can see that playlist also now from where you know cash inflow management i have written there aap isko thoda sa dekhe note kare main aa gaya ji aane wale time pe you know next point point is which i want to discuss with you is पहले मैं डिस्कस करूंगा अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल्स मैनेजमेंट वेरी वेरी हॉट एरिया फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन डेटर्स मैनेजमेंट आई हैव टोल्ड यू कैश मैनेजमेंट आई हैव डिस्कस इन्वेंटरी मैनेजमेंट द थर्ड आई वांट टू डिस्कस इज आई हैव स्किप्ड वन और टू अभी हम करेंगे बट बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू डिस्कस माय फेवरेट एरिया दैट इज अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल्स मैनेजमेंट because you 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 are working along with your peers you are working along with the competitors sometimes it is very important that you have to give the credit to the customers kai bar aapko apne customers ko udhar dena compulsory ho jata hai kyunki aapke competitors bhi de rahe hain you have to follow that industry norms aur jab aap udhar dete hain तो पैसे वापस कई बार नहीं आते देर इज अज इंसिडेंस ऑफ बैड एंड योर मनी इज बींग एक्चुअली इन्वेस्टेड इन दोस्टर्स यू नो इन दोबल्स सपोजिंगली आई एम गिविंग यू क्रेडिट ऑफ टू मंथ्स मैं मार अज्यूम करता हूं आई एम गिविंग यू क्रेडिट ऑफ टू मंथ्स यू आर माई कस्टमर एंड यू आर बाइंग लेक्चर फ्रॉम मी एंड आई हैव गिविन यू क्रेडिट ऑफ टू मंथ्स की ठीक है दो महीने बाद पैसे दे देना अब होगा क्या दो महीने बाद इट मीन्स मुझे जो पैसे पहले मिल जाते यू नो आई वुड रिसीव टूडे मुझे अब दो महीने के बाद मिलेंगे एंड द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट आई विल बी गेटिंग इट और नॉट विल बी डिक्रीज नॉट टू नॉट यू नो इट इज नॉट नाउ सर्टन दैट यू विल पे मी लेट इट बी द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कस्टमर इट मीन्स इफ 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 टोटल सेल्स इज ट्वेल्व लैक्स मैं एज्यूम कर रहा हूं कि बारह लाख की टोटल सेल्स है let it be like this and credit period is of 2 months and credit period is of 2 months and sales is of 2 12 lakhs let it be 12k it means this company is giving a credit off to their customers of 2 lakh 2 lakh 2 lakh 2 lakh it means at any moment of time this company has to receive rupees 2 lakh from their customers it means i will say that this company has blocked their funds 2 lakh rupee has already been blocked at any moment of time 2 lakhs is being blocked now which is which is a very serious issue for a management accountant because this 2 lakh rupees you could have used some, some to so many other opportunities aapka cma usa part 2 examination अगर एक बार आप फेल हो जाते हैं अज्यूम कर रहे हैं यू आर आई एम टॉकिंग ओवर रामलाल रामलाल ने एग्जाम दिया फेल हो गया एग्जाम दिया फिर दिया फेल हो गया फिर दिया फेल हो गया छह महीने वेस्ट हो गए मैं अब इसको इस, इस सेंस में ले रहा हूं छह महीने पहले अगर रामलाल वुड हैव क्लियर इज सी एम में एग्जामिनेशन ही वुड है जॉब इन वीक फोर और प्रमोशन इन द करेंट जॉब एंड हाइक इन द पे जो सब कुछ लूज हो गया similarly think from that aspect for for a company for a corporate entity if that company is giving a credit of 2 months or 3 months or 1 month it means they are investing their funds they are blocking their funds and now they are taking a risk also because that customer may pay or may not pay maine apne conceptual lectures mein movie dikhai thi isko karne ke ye zindagi na milegi dobara ya kuch movie thi in that i want to tell you ki if you give a credit that customer will not come to you again shops mein likha hua tha na aaj udhar mang kar sharminda na kare ya aaj nagad kal udhar you know so that point i want to tell you here account receivables 
account receivables is the money that the customer owes to company and they have received on credit okay account receivables are carried out for competitive and investment purpose and and investment purpose competitive they are competitive apollo tire is giving dunla tire is giving mrf tire is giving ca tire is giving and you are a new entrant in this tire industry you have to also give that credit even if you are not thinking agar aapko nahi bhi dene ka mana hai tab bhi aapko dena padega theek hai ji so it means as a management accountant you have to devote you have to frame a credit policy how much credit you should give which will have credit standards credit terms and collection efforts so other types of receivables which i have given the example the name jo aap dekh lena aaram se main aa gaya ji most important point today's lecture because we have seen inventory management we have seen cash management we have seen receivables management now i can say you that i can understand operating cycle 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 there is a vicious circle of poverty similarly there is a cycle and it is highly examinated testable area for your examination that is operating cycle is just firstly let let have a reading you know it is the average number of days inventory is held it is number of days inventory is held before it is sold plus 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 average number of accounts receivables remain outstanding before being collected or i can say operating cycle is equal to r plus w plus f plus d minus c क्या कोई बच्चा बता सकते हैं क्या लिखा मैंने वट आई रिटर्न है आई रिटर्न इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म अ साइकिल फॉर्मूला विच इज नीड नॉट टू बी क्रैम यू नो इट इज अ लॉजिकल पॉइंट क्या आप में से कोई बच्चा बता सकता है कि ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल में क्या लिखा मैंने ये आर प्लस डब्ल्यू प्लस एफ प्लस डी माइनस सी रॉ मटेरियल प्लस प्लस वर्किंग प्लस फिनिश कोर्स प्लस डेटर्स माइनस क्रेडिटर्स या वेरी राइट तो आपको ये लिखना है रॉ मटेरियल होल्डिंग पीरियड मैंने होल्डिंग पीरियड मिस कर दिया वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस होल्डिंग पीरियड फिनिश गुड्स होल्डिंग पीरियड बिकॉज आई विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग इन टाइम टाइम कैन बीन डेज इट कैन बीन वीक्स इट कैन बीन मंथ्स इट कैन बीन इयर्स बिकॉज इट इज अ करेंट एसेट इट इज जनरली फॉर लेस एन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स टू जनरली बी जनरली कैलकुलेट इन डेज एज अ रूल इन अमेरिका ऑल्सो एज पर सी एम ए यूएसए पार्ट टू ऑल्सो this is accounts receivables holding period this is accounts payable payment period so all these are in days in period terms jaise for example i have just told you just have a look on this mainne niche likha bhi hai operating cycle is equal to days sales in this plus this theek hai cash cycle is equal to this i think i have written the theek hai ye formulas aap ek baar pehle do notes mein dekhenge then i will see कि आपको कितने लॉजिकली वैसे आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू वन एक एग्जांपल से आई कैन एक्सप्लेन एक अकाउंट्स रिसीवेबल टर्नओवर रेशियो जस्ट लिसन टू मी सपोजिंग इट इज सिक्स टाइम्स और अभी अभी हमने किया इन्वेंट्री टर्नओवर रेशियो तो मैं इन्वेंट्री टर्नओवर रेशियो का फॉर्मूला लेता हूं सो दैट यू कैन गेट एन आइडिया लेट इट बी इन्वेंटरी लेट इट बी इन्वेंटरी टर्न ओवर This is inventory turnover ratio. Let it be six times. अभी अभी दी गया हमने. And this we have calculated as per this formula. Cost of goods sold upon average stock. And you have calculated six times. Now, अभी अब we have seen that. What is the meaning of six times? It means. It means when I purchase inventory, you know. Whenever I purchase inventory, I have to hold it for two two months. If I say like this, मैं जब भी inventory को खरीदता हूँ, तो मुझे दो महीने के लिए इसको hold करना पड़ता है. या और 
I have to turn it within six months. It means new stock is coming, old is going. New is coming, old is going. This happens six times. It means if this happens six times in 12 months gap, you know, it means every time I take two months to convert it. Or I can say this, this is inventory holding period. May I say that this is inventory holding period. And it's formula said, what is the formula I have used? I have used a logical thing, you know, no formula is to be there. But in Becker, in Hawk, Glenn, Wiley, they have given the formula. But formula karne ki zarurat nahi aapne ki khud hi kar sakte hai. You can calculate two months. Kaise nikala aapne two, two months? Just tell me, two months kaise aaya? Twelve months upon six times. It means inventory holding period can be calculated with help of, I can say, I can say, the formula, I am just writing down here. Kisi ka formula bana dete. Time period, jo bhi hai. Now time period can be months, can be week, can be days. Upon inventory turnover ratio is equal to inventory holding period. I am necessary things to rub karta hon so that you can understand. I repeat my golden words again. I repeat my golden words again. I can calculate inventory turnover ratio or inventory holding period without cramming anything, you know. If I just understand the meaning of inventory turnover and it is highly testable for examination, CMA is a part two examination. Mene kaha, let it be six times. Let that inventory turnover ratio be six times. It means, it means, it implies inventory is being held for two months. Now, how I have calculated two months? I have calculated by this logic. Numerator, I have taken the time period. Let it be 12, let it be weeks, 52 weeks, let it be days, 360 days. I am not concerned with that. Time period can be weeks, days, as a case may be, divided by, in the denominator, many denominator may call ya ratio. It means if you want to calculate account receivables days, to kya hoga formula? Time period upon, upon average receivables turnover ratio. If you want to calculate average payable days, time period upon average payable turnover ratio. It means it is very easy for you. You can calculate the holding period. But 99% cases may aapko holding period examination mein diya hoga. But the point is, even if it is not given, now you can easily calculate because you know the logics, you know the concept, you know the crux. And once you have calculated the period, you can calculate the operating cycle. When I say operating cycle, it means, kya hota hai operating cycle? Koon sa bachcha bata ka formula? Please tell me. Operating cycle ka kya formula? Abhi abhi humne seekha. What is the formula of operating cycle? Can any one of you please tell me? What I what do you mean by? You know, these are revisionary lectures. If you have main lectures, I have uploaded that in the playlist. I revision but you know, I have already uploaded a huge number of videos in my YouTube channel. So operating cycle is equal to Raw material plus uh, work in progress plus finished goods plus debtors minus creditors. Now, yeah, very right. And now you can you know easily calculate these stages. But easy hai. Retina kushminia logically you can calculate it. So aaj ke is lecture mein maine 90 percent unit four complete kar diya. Abhi kuch questions rahe gaye, you know. Wo chance ki baat hai abhi mujhe file mil nahi rahi hai. I will be covering the next next lecture. Jab hum Friday ko milenge dobara se, to fir main us samay aapko pehle questions karaunga unit four se. And within the meantime, you can Telegram se usko download kar le, you know, get that hard copy. Achha, download Monday ko karna. I think abhi humne jo copy abhi Telegram mein upload kiya hai na, wo bhi incomplete hai. So abhi aap Monday ko karna please. Main let it be, main aaj pura check karke new copy upload karunga. So you do that on Monday. 
और एक दो दिनों में हार्ड कॉपी निकाल कर अपने पास रखें यूनिट फोर हाइलाइटर से हाईलाइट करें एंड यू हैव टू डू सम क्वेश्चंस प्रैक्टिस वॉक से कर लें या हमारे यू नो यू कैन डू इट फ्रॉम माय जूस नोट्स आल्सो अच्छा ये बताओ टाइमिंग आपको सूट कर रहे हैं सिक्स टू एट या सूट नहीं कर रहे हैं सूट कर रहे हैं सर ठीक है ठीक है सर बहुत बढ़िया अभी क्या है कि आज मेरी मॉर्निंग में भी ना दो तीन लाइव लेक्चर्स थे मैंने वो सब कैंसिल किए बिकॉज आई एम नॉट फीलिंग वेल सुबह से आज मैं अच्छा ठीक फीलिंग नहीं आ रही थी और मुझे आपकी बड़ी याद आ रही थी तो मुझे लगा कि सी एम ए यूएसए वाला लेक्चर तो आई विल नॉट यू नो पोस्टपोन इट तो आपका लेक्चर मैंने अभी यहीं तक लेना है आज मैं अभी ज्यादा नहीं ले रहा बोला ही नहीं जा रहा मेरे से एक तो मैं खड़ा हूँ बोला भी नहीं जा रहा यू नो सो आई एम कंक्लूडिंग दिस लेक्चर टूडे हम फ्राइडे को मिलेंगे छह बजे पूरे हम टाइम की क्लास लेंगे जूस नोट यू गेटेड फोटो यू गेटेड हार्ड कॉपी और अभी क्लास कंप्लीट करने से पहले हम तीन बार बोलेंगे बी हैप्पी मैं बोलूंगा बी हैप्पी आपने बोलना बी हैप्पी मैं बोलूंगा बी जॉली आप बोलेंगे बी जॉली मैं बोलूंगा बी जोफुल यू विल से बी जोफुल 